How do we decide if we are rich, smart, or short? One way is through social comparisons. Others around us help define the standard by which we find, define ourselves, such as rich or poor, smart or dumb, tall or short. We compare ourselves with them and consider how we differ. When studying social comparison in our own classroom, we found that students rated themselves higher than average across the board, which is literally impossible. Heather Flippin, my partner, and I, myself, Melanie Churlin, decided to see how this would test on Cedar Hill's campus, so we did a little investigating. General, all yeah, just Ameri general American college students, like about your age, grade, whatnot, your peers in America, um, one to ten. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Good, you want good. me to look at the camera? I guess, that's does not matter. Okay. Okay. Just say that you never did anything. Okay. Ten. Okay. <laughs> uh, eight. Okay. Ah, uh, about an eleven. Okay. <laughs> oh, just kidding. No, you're good. You're good. I'm not looking. I just smiled. We'll say seven. <laughs> okay. Nine or ten. Ten. Okay. I said eight. Oh, hello. Heather and my hypothesis was that immeasurable qualities such as sincerity, patience, tolerance, will be rated higher because it's hard to know whether one is truly more patient than others. However, measurable qualities such as athleticism, organization, time management, would be rated more appropriately, such as those who are athletic would rate themselves higher in athleticism, while those who realize they're not athletic would rate themselves lower. We found this true across the board. Okay, how tolerant would you rate yourself? Scale yeah, from one to ten. Uh, I'll give myself an eight. Okay. Okay. How trustworthy do you think that you are? Um, okay. Um, how sincere are you? Sincere. Um, sure, ten. How thoughtful are you? Um, wait, is ten like? Ten is high. Okay. One is low. Oh, like seven. Okay. How reasonable are you? Seven. How cooperative are are you? R R R R R. Another eight. How patient are you? Um, eight. <laughs> How thoughtful are you? Eight. How sincere are you? Nine. Okay. How studious are you? A ten. Okay. <laughs> and how athletic are you? Two. Okay. How energetic are you? Six. Okay. And <laughs> how well do you manage your time? Uh, let's go with the real two on that one. Okay. okay. How athletic are you? Okay. Um, how creative are you? Nine. How athletic would you rate yourself? Scale from one to ten, American college student. Ooh. Uh, 3.5? 3.5, okay. How athletic would you say that you are? Three. <laughs> okay. How athletic do you think that you are? This is in, in comparison, comparison to American college students. There's a lot of good athletes out there. Well, that's your true. age. Peers like you. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Five or six? Five or six. Maybe five. Alright, bye bye now. Because this was social comparison theory, we wondered whether people would answer differently as individuals or in groups or pairs. So some of our survey ease answered in pairs or groups. We found that they didn't answer necessarily higher or lower, but definitely more similarly. Without further investigation, we do not know whether this is attributed to conformity or peer pressure, but someday we hope someone will find out. Um, how responsible are you? Seven. <laughs> okay. How well do you get along with others? Nine or ten. Ten. Okay. How helpful are you? Okay. Eight. Seven. Okay. How 
patient are you? <laughs> Compared to everyone else who has Gucci. Um, I'm probably an eight. I'd probably say like seven. Okay. It was particularly evident that some folks did not answer quite truthfully. How responsible are you? Ten. Ten. Okay. How reasonable are you? Ten. Eight. Okay. How thoughtful are you? Ten. Ten. How responsible are you? Scale from one to ten. One being low, ten being high, compared to American college students. Eight. Six. Okay. Um, how helpful are you? <laughs> how helpful are you? Eight. Six. Okay. How sincere do you think that you are? <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay. How patient are you? Three. Okay. How trustworthy are you? Nine. As we conducted this study, we found that there may have been some minor limitations. Um, one being familiarity. Whether the subjects or participants were familiar with Heather or myself, um, another being sample size, we, we interviewed a mere 30 individuals. Um, also, the fact that these were public interviews um, with a video camera, some are camera shy, uh, some are camera excited, um, so that may have played into the answers that they gave. Um, also, our entire uh, participant group was comprised of um, Cedarville University students, which is a small, private, uh, Christ-centered university. Uh, we met, find that there may have been different results in a secular and or larger educational institution. How do you feel? Good? Bad? Negative? Positive? I feel kind of conceited because I threw a lot of high numbers up there and I really don't think that highlight myself. But I feel like it was maybe accurate. I do. Ah. That was, was really accurate. Good. And now that you've completed our survey, how do you feel about yourself? Positive, Four. negative, etc. Margaret was copying. What do you feel about your answers? With onions from what is this about you? Um, the ten thousand sounds of the word. The ten thousand sounds of the something. world were hushed so we could hear the scratch. <laughs> I mean, but you did the ask for a question. The same was asleep in the bedroom <laughs> with a wet cloth <laughs> over his eyes. Oh, <laughs> Outside the window, the owner of the book sat <laughs> in a flowering okay. apple tree. Thank you for viewing our video on social comparison theory. Be sure to test yourself for above average behavior today. Eight, okay. Um, how well do you get along with others? Ten. Ten. Okay. How athletic are you? If there's eleven, but I don't have ten. <laughs> ten. Okay. How creative are you? Ten. Okay. Ten. And how organized are you? Oh, four. <laughs> Seven. Okay, perfect. Um, how forgiving are you? Two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, um, hmm. I like I like to say that I would be pretty forgiving. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself another seven. Okay, it's <laughs> a awesome. safe number. It's not too cocky, and it's not like, whoa, she is scum. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, tolerant? so how tolerant do you think you are? In what sense? Tolerant of what? Just, just I tolerant. Need clarify. I need to have these things uh, clarified. I'm just how tolerant in comparison to other American college students. <laughs> Rate yourself on a scale from one to ten. Just tolerant. Just tolerant. A tolerant person of in general. People of things of etc. I'd give myself an eight. What okay. Would you give me? I'm. I'm not. <laughs> whatever. Just asking. Okay.